Honestly, can you imagine this guy's farts? To counter him, pick someone like Teemo and once you hit level 6, he'll never be able to chase you for very long. Kel can slow him down and speed herself up, and Nar can tilt him when he's small and push him away or simply smash him when he's big. Vlad with his healing, Jace for his long range poke, and Pantheon for his block and engage make other good counters as well. Singe's passive grants him extra movement speed whenever he's near enemy champions. His Q is a toggle ability that activates his poison trail that he leaves behind. It costs 13 mana per second, so he won't be able to use it for very long in the early stages of the game. His W creates an adhesive pool on the ground that slows enemies standing on top of it. His E flings an enemy champion behind himself and if they happen to land on the adhesive pool then they get rooted as well but you'll rarely see any singe try to do this. Instead they prefer to slow in front of him. Finally his ultimate grants him a bunch of extra stats like AP, armor, MR, movement speed and both heal and mana regen for 25 seconds. The one thing he might do that is especially weird is if he starts to farm between your towers. In which case you should only go there if you know for sure that you can kill him or if you're jungler is pinging for you to help, otherwise don't bother going in for him and losing all your farm to your tower. As for spells, you'll only see him run teleport, flash and ghost 95% of the time and to be honest, any combination between these three is possible. You on the other hand might want to consider ignite to inflict grievous wounds and stop his very annoying healing. In terms of power spikes, his early game is okay, mid game is when he might be able to shine and late game he'll turn into a very annoying tank but deal significantly less damage especially if you're a tank as well. His laning phase doesn't really have many power spikes but maybe his level 9 might be considered one when he maxes Q and obviously level 6 is a game changer for him. He'll start out by building a bunch of dark seals but it doesn't even matter if they stack or not, they just give him the stats he needs. Rylas is also very interesting on him due to the slow it'll give his Q. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, don't bother chasing him, that's exactly what he wants. Decide what to do with him farming between your towers and only go for him if you can guarantee a kill. And he is a living bait, even if he's low, he'll regen really quickly and unexpectedly. Ultimately, have fun doing it.